Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, hopefully you've already gone and watched my other videos on the Honda Metropolitan. Go check those out. Go to my playlist on my channel uh, and look for the Honda Metropolitan one in the playlist. Um, 2006 Honda Metropolitan slash Ruckus will probably be what it is. Either way, it'll have Honda Metropolitan on there. Um, so go check out all my videos on this. I have several videos already on this, and now these are going to be carburetor related videos. Every um, flat. flat in Phillips screwdriver or standard in Phillips uh, whatever you want to call it I don't care but anyway uh, every screwdriver that's standard or Phillips for whatever might hopefully work on this I want to make sure whenever I'm doing something with this it's fitting the best I have the ability to and I highly recommend this pan or a pan similar to this for working in for a couple reasons. One, I'm going to put in right uh, here from. Uh, is that coming out of the top? And two, um, any little parts and pieces are going to stay here on the table in this pan and not roll off somewhere. Now I've already, uh, if this video goes the way I plan, uh, pulled this apart and kind of cleaned it up inside here. Now I may go ahead and pull it apart again, uh, depending on what I see, but um, for now I'm just going to leave that closed because I know the parts in here are fine. Um, the rest of it I don't know, so I'm going to start pulling other parts apart and that way when I'm all done pulling this apart I'll know what I need to order uh, as far as gaskets and things like that. Boy, we're still leaking some gas out of here every time I turn it around. But this apparently just pulls off as far as I know, maybe not, according to what I saw. Yet again, uh, yep, that just pops off of there. I got another bucket over here I'm going to put stuff like that into. And then this. This appears just to kind of twist in here. I don't know if it's supposed to. I hope it is because it's been doing that. And then you got a Phillips right down in here. And it just kind of holds it in. It's got like a horseshoe kind of shape thing holding it in. Uh, kind of reminds me of a distributor, sort of. Sometimes. Of course, first screw I go for is going to be a pain in the butt. Now watch what you're setting stuff on. In fact, I would recommend just leaving that on there so you're not setting it on any of the plastic things when you're doing some of this stuff. There we go. That was kind of a bear, more so than I thought it now would be. That's coming out. We'll get that off. Set that to the side, and it should, yet again in theory, pull out. Okay. There's that piece there. Hopefully you can see all that. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. Take a look at. We'll go ahead and take this other sensor off now. With the, one of these sensors, I can't remember which one it is as well from the video. Uh, you have to kind of reset your computer, um, so I'll be doing that at the end of this video as well when you start taking this stuff apart, so be aware that there are some more things you have to do for this to work properly because we got electronics. And this okay, well, there's that. I'm going to go ahead and put that bolt kind of back in with that one. I'm also going to take this other one and set it over here in the corner with that other part so I hopefully don't get them confused. So right now this video is just the both you and I figuring out how things come apart. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop this off, maybe. Now we're on the bottom down here. Actually, I could have probably, now that I think about things after the fact, unscrewed this right here. And I think gasoline would have dumped out of here 
instead of all over the carburetor. That's okay. The carburetor is going to need cleaned anyway. But there is an O-ring in here I want to look at anyway. These parts I'm going to set to the side over here in this pan because I know they're parts that I want to clean. Not a whole lot of gas in there. What I see. Now it appears there's three. You kind of orientate yourself to where the air comes in, where the air, or where it goes into the manifold, I guess. Um, there's one screw here, screw here, and screw here. It appears to be three. My memory card went to put, well, it didn't go kaput. It filled up on me, so I took the last screw out. This should, in theory, pop off of here sometimes. Give it a little bit of a wrap. And she comes off. Now we got our jets. You got your main jet and your, I believe it's an idle jet. I couldn't tell you to be honest. Like I said, I've worked on carburetors before and I do a lot of this kind of stuff. But I never really learned all the complete technical terms of everything inside. I just learned how they worked and learned how to take them out, learned how to clean them, learned how to replace them. I, I didn't go to school for this kind of stuff. The uh, only thing I really went to school for was auto body and upholstery work. Um, but for this stuff, I've just been doing it as long as I can remember Let's or take it. some of these out. And then again, I'm just going to go through, and if it doesn't, whichever one feels the best to me is the one I'm going to use. Seems like a big screwdriver, but it sticks in there really good. So that's what I'm going with. And now that I've loosened it up, this one, loosen it up. This one sticks in there really good too. You don't want to, these are just brass, so if you feel anything giving away, stop. Because you really don't want to these up. Now I'm going to go with a smaller one now in here that will actually turn a little easier. That's kind of almost cross-threaded in there feeling. That's a, I can actually see through that one whether or not it's as see-through as it should be. I don't know. That one on the other hand, I cannot. And this is the one I kind of thought because it was the idle. It wouldn't idle, start, go, do nothing. And I can put that right up to, I got light bulbs above me here. And I can't see an ounce of light through that for nothing. So that is probably my problem. There's a couple little holes here, a couple little holes here, and then should be a hole going all the way through that you should be able to see through. So these ones aren't too clogged up. It's definitely something inside inside of this area here. Set that to the side. And I am definitely going to order the gasket. The float bowl appears to be moving up and down. The needle and seat or needle back here seems to be doing what it should, but for kicks and giggles, we'll go ahead and pop that out of there as well. And I need a pick. So, this was on here like this. Pull that off. And the only thing holding this pin right here in, which is holding this in, is the edges of this bowl right here. So you should be able to push it that way. And if you don't push it too far. Uh, push it that way. You can go either way. It doesn't really have a, a directional, well, so to speak. And then you want to carefully lift this up because you're going to have your uh, needle here. I don't. I used to know the name of this one, but I don't even remember that. 
and it usually barely hangs on with some sort of a spring or something okay it's got like a hopefully you can see this there's a slot in here that it just kind of sits in and you pull it forward and it comes out I'm going to go ahead and set that to the side here's the deal with these I, this one you can tell first of all it's see-through put it up to a light not too close you don't want to start yourself um, on fire and if you don't see any water in there it's probably fine now if it was a brass one or something like that, that would be in this maybe an older scooter but if you take it and do this shake it and you hear rattle or if you hear something inside it's got a hole um, back in the day when they were brass people would actually dry them out and weld them up or solder them up I don't recommend that um, they're cheap but these ones are good shape they don't look bad they're not discolored I'm going to reuse them because and they're like 10 or 12 bucks too I think from what I was looking now there at. should be I believe down in here another one which I keep forgetting things here so hold on, I'm gonna try something here sometimes you can knock this okay started to come out I'm gonna go get a pick for the that. main the bigger one that's taller this is the one I'm working on inside there there should be like kind of a little needle that the other one rides inside there we go also I was expecting maybe some sort of a o-ring or something on that it doesn't appear to be and that one also is pretty see-through looking which the other one was too I mean I'm gonna clean them out but uh, for the most part these actually all look pretty good except for the one the uh, idle what I would call the idle I think I need to get this little valve out of here and uh, right here and there's definitely not any kind of a normal wrench type thing I can get on there I'm gonna have to find out about that as well I'm gonna throw this in here I went ahead and uh, went on Amazon and I picked this up here and this where I was looking at during that video for in that portion uh, looks like a single D now this was like eight or nine bucks off Amazon pretty cheap but neither of the single D ones will work on this but for kicks and giggles I went ahead and tried the double D one and it actually fits on there uh, just fine and actually tightens and loosens it um, I actually already loosened it just messing with it I don't want to crank it down but it did work the double D one in that kit worked great for this it fits just fine and I can pull this out of here Careful, that's got a heck of a tip on it there, pointy tip, so I'm gonna be careful with that. Doesn't appear any fluid flows through that, it looks like it probably flows around it somehow. Um, and I realize from doing some of my uh, editing, I'm kind of doing the mumbling thing, so I apologize. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. Um, on the end of this needle that went down in here, oh, uh, great end up getting it stuck. Uh, there's supposed to be, and it almost came out actually, a spring that's in there and I actually did mess with this a little bit tapping it so it, it, and it must have broke it loose. Um, there's supposed to be a spring, a washer, and a little o-ring that goes on the end of this this needle here. But on the one I saw where he had the washer and the o-ring it looked like the needle had a bit of a something here to kind of hold the little washer on with the o-ring a little uh, edge going around here and mine doesn't have that so I am 
wondering if I have a bit of a different carburetor in this area. They might have gotten rid of that. I don't know. I got this little pick. Nope, there it is. I got a little pick here that's actually broke off on the end here that worked perfect. Um, so if you don't have one of those, you need a tiny little pick and you might have to break the end of it. But here's the O ring and the piece here. They both right there. You got the little O ring which comes in your kit that goes on the end of that, and then a little washer as well. And I hope the washer isn't supposed to go one way or another because I don't know which way it goes. So I'm going to set those to the side and replace the O-ring with the kit. And And I'm also going to put this over in the bowl over here. And what is left over, minus screwdrivers and picks, I'm also going to put this over in the bowl because that's not going to go in either. Now, if you've never pulled one of these apart and you aren't somewhat familiar with what's going on, make sure you put these in some sort of order. And don't forget, if you do like put it in like a chem dip or something like that, you need to remember everything. Take a picture, do something, put it in some sort of order on your table, take a picture of it, and then put it all back in that same order later on or something like that. Uh, I have video in case I have any problems. These, these are pretty simple, so I'm not too awful worried about it. Now, I don't have any Kim Dip, and I don't even have any carb cleaner, and I need to wait for parts. And then I got the Yamaha Virago uh, carburetors I'm going to be pulling apart to see what I need for parts for those so go check out that video if you're interested in that or been watching that um, so I need to get some carb cleaner I don't think I'm going to chem dip them these it's not that bad I can see pretty much down through everything I need to see there's not a lot of varnish there's not a lot of buildup which also tells me with how dirty it was on the outside of this carburetor, uh, the seafoam, seafoam stabilizer stuff that I've been putting in my gas, I do believe is doing its job. Problem is, is this one little orifice here got clogged up and that is basically just from lack of maintenance more than anything. Um, yeah, some of that might be from fuel that got sludgy but more than likely it was just crap that got down in there so when I get the rest of the stuff I need we'll be back with this one well YouTube there you go that's how to pull that car this carburetor apart um, hopefully that was enjoyable to you uh, the next one we're gonna go into cleaning and then another one after that I'm gonna be doing the assembly and getting it all done so uh, hopefully you stick with me all right, this is Sam, Jack of all, Master and you all have a good one.